Now we mixed up the the uh, the parasite killer, right? And I'm gonna sip on this so that y'all can join me. Now you can sit with me and you can watch how to make this, right? Also, I'm gonna consume this right now, but I'm welcoming you to the show. And I'm very confused today. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm on day five of the fast. And somewhere along the line, I lost a half an hour. Can y'all help me get my half an hour back? Please. Peace. started doing all that talking look at what happened all right so now toast the creator we toasted the creator already sorry youtube we toast the creator already. we toast our ancestors already toast our ancestors call on them we toast this moment and this moment is ujima we toast ujima right now we call the power of this moment into our life and what is that power the power of co um, cooperative economics we call on that energy. We call it into us. We call it around us. And we look for it throughout the day. That's one of the reasons we do the toast. So we can remind ourselves about the principles. And we can remind ourselves about const constant learning. Because right now, the attack is on, on all forms and all shapes. So we got to be prepared for that. Right? So we call on our principles. So that we can stand on our principles. And we can fight knowing that we're right. Because usually when you're fighting, you got right on your side. It don't even matter if you win or lose, right? In most cases, you win. Because those with the why always come out on top. So we toast and we say, I say, from there, we move on to our children, our children's children, to unto infinity. We toast them. We toast our children in advance because we are responsible for the next seven generations. And that means that if each generation take care of seven generations beyond them, that means that our people will last forever. If we live our lives as if, as if we're living for generations to come, we never have to worry about anything, right? We're preparing the next generation. We're preparing our generation so that we could come back victorious, so we could come back into victory, right? So right now, it's just a moment. So we're bringing them out. But Sheila says, all right, I, it's okay, I brought him out. Thank you. All right, last but not least, we toast you. Toast you, right? Toast each and every last one of you. Take the time with me to salute our ancestors, right? Because as, hey, whether we know it or not, our little collective is growing, right? And it's getting, and it's getting more and more powerful. As far as the spiritual level, we're getting more and more powerful. And we're going to keep on doing this, right? And we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Woo! If I had a 
that song I was singing. Man. Man. This is some good stuff, y'all. All right. So, Facebook, I won't belabor the time. Appreciate y'all for showing up for the toast. I'm going to go and finish my conversation on YouTube. Y'all going to feel free to make sure you check me out on YouTube. Go to giamijourney.com. I always post up my shows, but my shows is always a day behind on my blog because I need time to think about what I'm going to write. All right? So today we're going to be talking about that dandelion root. All right? So with that, I'm saying peace to you, family. Y'all have a great, great, great day. Right? This is our day. We out. Bye, family. The Art of Shinku. This is an excellent book. We're going to talk about the dandelion root real quick. And why it's important, why I'm using it in a lot of the herb um, um, that I add to um, the that ambrosia, right? And why I'm, I'm gonna mix this drink real quick. Um, so, in it is an illustration. If you could look, if you could see, he drew the whole book. So, in this book, it's called. The Art of Shinku, The Ultimate Traveler's Guide to This Planet, The First Intergalactic, intergalactic Art Form of the Entire Universe. Simple enough for a child, too complex for a genius. Devastatingly personally applicable in, per, in perpetuity, in perpetuity, in perpetuity, governing all conscious progress in any species anywhere, transcending the ultimate barriers of time and space. A lot for a little book. But this dude, man, those that have um, been following me for a while, you know, that I often go to this book. This dude tells you a little bit of everything. So he got a small section in here on herbs. And I'm going to read what he says about our friend, the dandelion. Okay? So here we go. Dandelion. Toxama uh, is tar, Toraxicum officinale or officinale used mainly dry roots but fresh leaf used in salads is for acne, anemia, energy, cancer, spleen, skeleton, insomnia, digestion, heartburn, kidneys, cramps, Jaundice, gallstones, bladder, builds blood, tonsils, flu, diabetes, age spots, cleans blood, fever, rheumatism, gout, skin ailments including spots, boils, eczema, etc. Constipation, pancreas, improves appetite, bronchitis, fractures, helps with broken bones, hypoglycemia, Old age, hemorrhage, hemorrhage, water retention, liver, wounds, notes, efficient removal of acid toxins from the blood, but does also raise blood pressure for liver, gallbladder combined with yarrow, suitable for kids as a general tonic. So, this is a general tonic. Now, the pieces that we need to stress is one. It works with the blood as far as anemia, the spleen. It builds blood. It cleans the blood. Now, it helps with hypoglycemia. It helps to stop bleeding. Um, also, we need to focus on it gives energy. It helps clean the liver. Right now, why is this important? Because the liver excretes bile, which helps get rid of a lot of outside infection. Right, the liver is important, then it also helps with the lymphatic system. Right, I mean, so when we're talking about just using 
if we use nothing else, right? We already know breath and water. And just eating some right, eating the food, or just cutting down how much we eat, right? Caloric restriction, or just the, the warrior diet, right? Is enough. But then we got a herb that we can walk right out into any woods, as long as there ain't no pesticide around. Find this plant. Not only can we eat the leaves and put it in the salad, right? We can take the tops of it and make wine, right? We can even use the stem. And if we want to, we could dig down, we could take the root, we could dry the root out. We got something that can heal. Family, this is incredible. This is incredible, right? This is why that's one of the main ingredients of the Death Eater, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't call it Death Eater for nothing, right? You know, so when we're looking at pulling things into our regimen, we want to, one, Grab things that are not super expensive, but we also want to grab some things, at least the majority or the base of what you take as far as your personal system are things that you can go out into nature and grab yourself if you have to. Because we may one day approach a time where none of this shit is available. So you need to be able to get out and get it, right? So I'm going to finish this real quick. So, that's that. We're going to talk about um, my other friend tomorrow. It is called burdock root. Right? So, we use burdock root in the uh, death eater tea. Hell, I got time. We're going to just cover dandelion root and the burdock root. And then we're going to mix up. One of these drinks to help with this whole parasite as well as just cleaning out the body in general, right? We got to take care of our bodies, right? So, so the, the motivation for the Death Eater tea was, one, I needed a tea well, because like just with the tea, um, with, the, uh, with, the red, with, the, with the ambrosia, I needed to throw stuff in there that would get people. That do look like a little man floating in there, don't it? With a beard and mustache and everything. Look at him. That look like a little dude. So, I needed a drink um, that I could use and that also I could promote to the people around me because, like, a lot of people want the um, ambrosia when it was super sweet. And I know that it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's better than pop. But, you know, I know that as people start really wanting some of the health benefits, that I will have to give them stuff to help push them towards that. Right, so I started looking up herbs and I wanted to look up two of the basics and I always remember burdock root. You know what I'm saying? I always remember dandelion root. I said, cool, because dandelion root, you can also use it as a replacement for coffee. Did you know that? You take um, dandelion root and you can boil it and you can use a replacement for coffee. Right? I mean, that's how strong it is. Um, that's, how, that's how quick the fat can be in your body. Right, and the cleansing process is sort of like an energy boosting process, unless you're real dirty, like I am, and you get tired. You know what I'm saying? You know, because as as your body's detoxing, you're liable to get tired. So we just gonna kill both of them in one in one fell swoop today. We got burdock, you seeds, burrs, root, and leaves. Y'all ready for this? All right. Burdock, four, dandruffs, it cleans the blood as well, acne, energy, kidney, bladder, cystis, hemorrhoids, gout, tonsillitis, bursitis, overweight, itchy, di itchy digestion, lungs, energy, gonorrhea, Colon cleaner, lymph, intestine cleaner, that's the lymphatic system, intestines cleaner, arthritis, hair loss, water retention. For the water retention, you use the birds. So I have to go and get a picture of the um, burdock and put it on. But I got a picture of it on the blog. 
nerves, childhood diseases, eczema, cankers, burns and wounds used to leave, sore throat, you could gargle it, hay fever, allergy, psoriasis, ulcer, old sores, boils, poison ivy, constipation, liver, rheumatism, skin, cold with a fever. For squints, for, for skin problems, use inside and out. Can combine with red, clover, and yellow. AIDS, protein metabolism, reduce internal toxins, reduce joint swelling. Alright? I want y'all to check that out, man. Now, I'm missing something for some reason. Hold on. There's some information that we're missing. I, I feel it. Hold on. All right. Now, did y'all notice that when we was talking about dandelion root, this man said that dandelion root, because it, it's listing what it's a cure for. Did anybody notice that I said old age? I mean, really? I mean, and, and you know, of course, he's not a scientist. He's just somebody that, that gathered information like I'm doing for you right now. I'm sharing information from, from his book. But dandelion root. Is a cure for old age, right? And 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 what that means is one, you can live a long life. But then, like I said, if we combine it with another local herb, now I'm in Ohio, I don't know where you are, but dandelion root and burdock root sprouts up all over the place. Especially, I mean, they try to kill them in the city, but they always popping up. I was just, where was I? Oh, I went to go pick up some ice for an event for the school. And I saw a big old burdock bush. And, you know, uh, I was about to run out and try to snatch it. But, you know, I was I, I, I was on duty at that time, you know. But I just saw it. I said, ooh, that's a beautiful burdock root. I mean, it was big enough for me to see from like 50 yards. I was like, oh, look at that. See, and that's the way we got to get. We got to get back in tune so that when we see stuff in nature, we be like, ooh. They don't even know what that is. Ooh, you want me to get rid of that um, plant for you? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, just like with dandelion root, right? Because, like, um, I, I got dandelion greens and they're waiting for me to come off this fast right now, right? So these, by, by bringing these plants into our life, right, it's like, like I told y'all about the symbiotic relationship that we form with the scoby that makes the tea for us it it knows what we need and it's going to help provide our needs right just like with the plant life out here when we start really knowing these plants and get to really knowing get to start spending time with them get to drinking them get get to eating them getting to touch them and and watch them go through their process we develop a relationship and these herbs are able to give us what we need. So it's not just enough for us to go out and get a fancy label herb, right? You know what I'm saying? We have to develop a relationship with these things, right? Cooperative economics, right? I mean, getting, getting to the principle of the day, cooperative economics is about flowing, right? Your body, the blood flows through your system. It's a, it's a cooperative system. Cooperative, you need an example of cooperative economics, look at your body, right? Each part works with every other part, and you got blood flowing through all the parts, connecting your whole body, right? But the PC is getting to know the cycle of your body, getting to know when you're really hungry and when you just want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Being able to work with it, that's how you're able to get the power from it. The Egyptians or the Kemites became great because they learned how to work with the now, not against the now, not forcing their will upon the now, but working with the now. Cooperative economics, right? Same thing with us and our herbs. We got to get to know them, right? So some of us that's taking some of these exotic herbs, right, that we never really get to see the plants, right? I get to see my scobies every day. I seen, I seen two of them last night and I was like, oh, they're not ready yet. 
I got to go on and, and pull it and, and taste it and lift it up out. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know what I'm saying? My medicine, my medicine, I know it. Right? I know it. I know it takes a certain amount of time. And then, you know, I could talk to it and, and get to understand it. And, you know, a lot of y'all might be like, that's crazy, brother. I tell but it's so crazy. One of the best scientists of the 20th century spoke, said he spoke to plants. And that was George Washington Carl. I know a lot of y'all was thinking uh, Albert Einstein, right? Albert Einstein came up with, with, with an abstract concept that don't even benefit you. George Washington Carver was out in the field creating stuff that you still use today. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Albert Einstein, you, you brilliant, right? But came up with a concept that is used for death. George Washington Carver came up with concepts that improve people's lives. And I know a lot of y'all like, nuclear energy improved my life. Yeah, whatever. You don't even know where your, like, where your electricity come from. Right? So the bottom line is, getting to know. You know what I'm saying? That's part of economics. Right? That's part of cooperating. Getting to know who and what you're working with. Do you know your herbs? Right? Do you know them? Right? A lot of y'all smoking that weed. Do y'all know weed? Have you ever really seen a weed plant? Now I ain't just talking about the little weed plant that you get from the little seeds that you put in there and you get the little leaf. No, I'm talking about have you ever really seen a real weed plant? You know what I'm saying? Those of us that struggle with tobacco, have we ever really seen tobacco? Have we ever really smoked real tobacco? Right? Because this is what's crazy, man. And, and I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm telling too much, but I... I have to disclose. I have a real bad tobacco habit. Right? And um, yesterday, I'm sitting down. I'm like, damn, I don't need to be smoking. And I'm working on it, family. I'm working on it. Said, damn. So I go, I go, and of course, I'm smoking. I, I'm smoking a black and mild. And because... My whole body is detoxing. So every time I put this in, my body works hard to put the shit out, right? So I'm smoking and I'm I'm like, well, goddamn, is this ketosis? What is this sweet? What is this sweet taste? What what is this shit? In my mouth. Now I'm for years. I've been off and on, off and on. I never tasted the sweetness that's in the in, the, in, in, in tobacco, right? And I'm sitting up here like, what the fuck is this? So I go and I do some research, and I'm finding out they putting just as much sugar in the tobacco as they put in everything else. So I'm sitting up here like, God damn, all this time, I never, my fault, when I was with the Native American brothers and sisters, they actually brought some real, they actually brought some real tobacco. Right? And I'm like, damn, that was different. Family, everywhere around us, we got these, we, we being poisoned. Right? You know, by choice, we poison ourselves. So let me mix up this drink, then I'm going to let y'all go. So we got that burdock root. Um, reduces internal toxins and reduces joint swelling. That's the last part. Alright? So, both of these are good herbs to have. Especially because they grow almost everywhere man i mean dandelion root grows up on top of mountains or down in valleys um burdock pops up everywhere so anywhere you are right now any in the continent of the united states and even around the world you are able to find dandelion root and burdock root and i stress these two because these two are emergency herbs we could go in and, and fly in the ginseng right because this is my first experience with a real ginseng root. And I understand that they could grow in Ohio too. Right? And, and maybe I'm going to try to grow some. But the point that I'm trying to make is. We need to have a real personal relationship. With at least the mainstay. And two mainstay herbs that I have in my life. Are the dandelion root and the burdock root. All right. The cleanse and the 
Parasite Killer. Of course, this is a apple cider vinegar bottle. But if you look inside, I got a scoby floating up in there. This is 100% that ambrosia vinegar. Coming soon, fam. Coming soon. Right? So, we're going to take a couple of shots of that. why they make my vinegar my vinegar jar like a shot but hey that it is what it is so we got the vinegar all right yesterday y'all I didn't have a lemon but my wife went out and bought some lemons so one one eight with the uh help with the help with the liver as well but in our reading, we found out that these little buggers don't like turmeric, right? This is a good herb that you can add. We're going to talk about this too. I wonder if it's in here. Now, you don't have turmeric in here. But we'll do some, we'll read a little bit more about turmeric. But those that checked me out yesterday know that we spoke about turmeric yesterday. Throw some turmeric in there. Alright, we read about cayenne, we got cayenne in here, let's look at cayenne real quick, cayenne pepper, cayenne, use the fruit for cuts, abrasions, believe it or not, muscle cramps, um, chill blains, shingles, arthritis, lumbago, rheumatism, neuro, neuro, neurologia, piles, Olive oil can be also treated externally with ointment, varicose veins, circulation, cold, um, circulation when you're cold, heart, stimulate and regulate, lungs, um, fits, when you, people having fits, they could take it, you know what I'm saying, when your friends start tripping, give them some cayenne, it'll bring his ass right back, miscarriage, per, um, par paralysis, or when they get paralyzed, Spleen, diabetes, energy, period, too heavy, bleeding. So those ladies that might have a problem with that. Kidneys, capillaries, gas, helps remove plaque, glands, helps bring your glands in, in, into balance. Hay fever, you know what I'm saying, as uncomfortable as it may be, you know what I'm saying, taking a little um, cayenne will help with the hay fever. Hay fever. Arteries, it's a general tonic as well. Um, actually, we could grow we could grow cayenne as well. Um, a general tonic, acne, digestion, nerves, bronchitis, combined with ginger, ulcers, jaundice, fatigue, cough, fractures, shock, pleurisy, headache, throat and tonsils. That's the uh, lymphatic symbol uh, system. Lymph, the, the the tonsils, um, douche, vagina. Ooh. Um, I don't know if I can go for that one. But God, woof. Improve appetite, sinus and asthma, hemorrhage, they help with bleeding, kids' diseases, tonic and antiseptic, pancreas, colitis, eyes, regulate blood pressure, and shock. If somebody in shock, you give them some real cayenne, they're going to come right up out that shit. Notes. Amplifies actions of other herbs. So whatever herb you put this with is going to magnify the action of that herb. Make it work faster. Notes. Um, use with garlic to lower high blood pressure. Put in sock to help cold feet. Harvest fruit when ripe and dry in shade. Often sold as a powder. What is that there, family? That's a powder. Put a little bit of that in there. And cinnamon. Let's see if we got cinnamon in here. H I no, I don't see uh, chamomile. 
Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Cinnamon. Nope. You don't have cinnamon. But you do have uh, CBA, which is the same. Everything that, that the apple cider vinegar could do, that ambrosia do, or the ambrosia vinegar. Hair loss, colon, kidney stones, dental decay. It inhibits, enhances blood clotting ability, infections, period if it's too heavy, blood, it oxygenates, energy, obesity, digestion, foul stool, stimulates metabolism, hay fever, parasites, discourages, wow, diarrhea, varicose veins, arthritis, circulations, kids disease, bad breath, mouth hygiene, kidney, stomach, and liver. Note as a general tonic, tonic to stimulate the metabolic rate and counter disease and fatigue. Take one tablespoon um, breakfast and at lunch. As an antiseptic gargle, use one tablespoon in water glass. It, uh, you know, help you get fresh breath. Now, so that got me interested. I'm going to look up something else real quick. But we're going to finish up this drink. This is cinnamon. Take a little bit of this oil. Take that. Take that. Right? All these things are known to help fight and help clean out your system. Help fight those parasites. Because y'all know Brother Hot Tim is suspicious of parasites. I know I'm being driven to do some of the crazy shit that I'm doing. And it burns me up. Because, you know, we got to strive to be in control. Stir that up nicely. So now what I'm looking at right now is coming up with uh, um, that Ambrosia Detox formula. And it's coming soon. It's coming soon because it ain't going to be that hard. Oh, and I forgot to add my last ingredient. The last little bit of that Death Eater. That last little bit of Death Eater Ambrosia. Just to solidify. Dandelion root, burdock root. And this that proof, that this that pure. And the next batch of that dandelion um the dandelion um, ambrosia is going to be the old formula and not the new formula. So those that's going to be getting it during the time you're watching this, it is June 1st. The next batch will be um, mixed with that ambrosia um, rather than just being straight dandelion and um, that um, just being pure death eater is going to be the old-fashioned type if I make it so here we go peace family and I will see you in the morning tomorrow and y'all have a great day thank you for joining me thank you for watching the video I want you to subscribe click the bird right there the fiery bird and I also have a special video just for you right there and for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.